If you want to start freelancing in 2025, these are the skills that you must have to make money online. Let's get into it. All right, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com, your boy is back and I done did it again one more time. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. It's no secret. The people that actually hire you to do freelance work are usually business owners, entrepreneurs that might not have the budget to hire somebody full time or sometimes they just might not need to have somebody full time and just just need the part time work and they need to generate income. So you need to focus on skills that help those businesses generate extra income or establish their businesses. So let's start with number one, which is web development. And this actually having the skill to create websites for businesses. Some businesses might need a simple website, which could be a static site, pretty much just a landing page and just information about the business. Some businesses might need a more custom code. Maybe they might need something like a full stack application where they might have an idea and you're going to be the one who's going to create that idea that they have into a reality. Sometimes you're going to have situations where they might need an online store. So having the knowledge of e-commerce and being able to use tools like Shopify, WooCommerce, Magento, those skills are going to be crucial for you to be able to provide them with an online store and get them up and running. Another situation might be that they already have websites and they need those websites to be updated. Either they already have bugs or they just need some new features that need to be added to the website so they could generate some more income. Number two is email development. And this is the process of creating responsive emails and setting up campaigns for those businesses. Email campaigns are a big factor when it comes to sales. You got Black Friday sale, July 4th sale, a Labor Day, pretty much every sale that's happening throughout the year. Most businesses can get a boost of sales if they have email set up properly. And that's a skill that every single business needs right now because not every business owner knows how to do this properly. So if you have that skill, you can actually go in and make a lot of money with that skill. Number three, I will say is automation. Being an automation specialist can really help businesses get to the next level. And if you have that skill, it's going to really help you out to land some really big contracts and freelance gigs. Now, I know I got a lot of people who are beginners and looking at this video and wondering what the hell is an automation specialist? Well, I give you an example. Let's say there's a business. It's a local plumbing business, right? And when people call up that business, it might be busy. It might be going into voicemail. And guess what? They're actually losing that customer because if it goes to voicemail or it sounds busy, guess what? That person is just going to go to the next plumber. So if you have a system set up, something like go high level, right? And then from there, you have some type of automation where you can have an AI voice talking to the person, get the information, you know, what's their location, what the problem that they might have, what's a good time for a plumber to visit them. Then now that same information can be relayed to the business owner or let's say the plumber. And that way they could go in and call that person later on once they have an opening. Okay. Or visit them directly without having to waste time. So, so that business never lose that lead. Now, again, there's a million things that can be automated in every business and having those skills again can really make you a lot of money because you are literally helping that business generate more income. And those are the things that people are willing to pay for when you are a freelancer. They want to see dollar signs. They want to see if I invest, I don't know, a thousand, two thousand dollars for this individual to come set up some automations that I make back those two thousand. And then from there, I'll be making five, ten thousand dollars more every single month. OK, that's why businesses go in and hire freelancers. So let's go to the next one. Number four, running advertisement campaigns for businesses. Yes, this is part of marketing. And I get we are developers and you might say, well, Joe, I just want to learn about the things that I can do with code and with my little click clack on my keyboard. Guess what? You want to become a freelancer. You want to make money. You also going to have to go in and learn about marketing, especially running advertisement in all of the major platforms. For example, Facebook, you got Instagram, you have TikTok, you have YouTube, you even have X. Now, there's a lot of different places that you can run advertisement. And if you know how to run advertisement to drive more leads, more customers, 
more purchases, guess what? That's going to be beneficial for you and for the businesses. Because not only can you do it for other people, but you can also do it for yourself as a freelancer to grow your own business. So yeah, this is definitely one of the best skills because literally they can see the results. If you run a really good campaign, let's say for example, you have the right image, you have the right copy, you understand how to target the right individuals that are looking for a specific product that this company is offering and they invest, I don't know, maybe $10,000 in advertisement, that's $10,000 generated them $40,000 in sales, they can literally see, hey, we are getting a return on our investment. So it was worth it that we paid this guy $5,000 to set up this campaign. You get what I'm saying? Like men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. Now, what's better than paid advertisement? And it's really social media. So managing social media, creating content for social media, coming up with ideas for different brands and businesses that right there is the last skill, okay? This is what we call social media management. Now, I'm gonna clump a couple of things that you can do with that skill, right? So for example, you could create the post, you could create the content, you could be like a video editor, graphic artist, right? Um, you can go in and be a UGC creator, right? Basically is a user-generated content. This is when you see advertisement that feels like it was a, regular uh, social media posts, guess what? People get paid for that. So if you're comfortable in front of a camera, you could literally be making money by providing the right videos and the right content for a business. So yeah, advertisement is really, really good because you're targeting the right person, but with social media, it's organic. And also too, you can go in and convince somebody that they need your service, even though they wasn't searching for your service. So I give you a great example. I recently purchased something from TikTok. Um, and really, I didn't purchase on TikTok. I bought it on Amazon, right? But I saw the post on TikTok and it was about some screen protector. I think it's like doctor something, doctor screen protector or something like that. It's super easy to put on your cell phone, right? And they should give me a bag for me promoting them right now. But it was like really good post, okay? Where it shows you how easy somebody could put in a screen protector, super smooth, cleans your, your phone, does everything for you in a sense, okay? It's just pull and that's it. It already puts it on your phone. Very nice. And guess what? I went in and I purchased two of them. So automatically, just from a regular post that I saw online that popped up on my feed. It wasn't even an advertisement. It was just like organic traffic that I was getting. And then from there, I went in and spent $30. I didn't know I needed <laughs> that phone case or that phone cover, but shoot, I went and got it. <laughs> I needed that screen protector at the end of the day because I never put a screen protector on my phone and always get scratches. So I'm like, hey, shoot, I should get this one. It's super simple to do it. And they send you two, okay? So they got $30 out of me. Guess what? You can literally do that for so many different type of businesses. Okay. So with social media, even though you are a developer, and I'm saying this for anybody that's watching this, this is a, a developer channel. Um, most people that's going to find is going to find this because they're just searching about freelancing. But to convince you guys, yes, sometimes having these extra skills can help you out and make the most money. Now, let's put all of these things together. If you understand all of these skills and you can do all of the skills, you're going to be very, very profitable because when you don't have work for one, you're going to have work for the other. And when you can have work for one, you can go in and package up everything else. So again, what did we cover in here? We talk about web development, building the websites for a business. Guess what? You can go in and add the package of emailing. So yes, you could tell, hey, I'll set up your email newsletter. By the way, you're also going to need some automations to be set up. And also, I can go in and create the content for you and manage your social media. So now we went into four. And then the final one is like, hey, by the way, all this traffic that you're going to have on your website, all of this people that's coming in to your social media posts, etc., we can also retarget them with advertisement. 
So one client that you was going to get for maybe a thousand dollars, you can now take that client's lifetime value, let's say for not even the lifetime, just the yearly value to $10,000, $20,000. So if you go in and you have 10 of these clients that you're providing all of these services, you're talking about $100,000, $200,000 a year. Okay. Now you have a solid business. So yes, you came in here looking for freelance ideas, right? What are the skills that you need to learn for 2025, 2026, 2027? What are the things that you should learn so you can go in and start freelancing? And I just gave you the whole game plan. All right. If you go in and combine at least three of these skills that I told you, you're going to be a very profitable developer and a very profitable freelancer, period. Okay. Now, by the way, for anybody that's in here, if you're watching this and you like the content, you got some value, make sure you leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel. And one thing that I will say, click on the links in the description, man. Okay. Those links is going to bring you to my website, codingphase.com, right? In here, I teach you all of these skills that we talked about, right? In here, I focus on teaching you everything that you're going to need to be able to get a job in the tech industry. But the cool thing about all of these skills that I'm teaching you, right? Not only can you get a job, but you can also start freelancing. So you could come into Coding Phase, learn everything step by step. And not only that, you're going to have access to me to help you out every single week. And I can go in and help you get to the point. Same way how some of my students here in the Hall of Fame that have gotten a job, have gotten into the industry, are now freelancing, are now making income from their house. OK, you literally could get over ten thousand dollars in value by just becoming a diamond member on codingphase.com. All you have to do is click on the links below. I'll give you 20% off and you can come and check out the website. So again, if you're looking for somebody to help you out in this whole process, teach you all of the skills, come to codingphase.com. I got you guys. All right. Hopefully you guys learned a lot in this video and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.